So Smite is an action MOBA, and for the Xbox One, action is definitely the key word. It looks and feels like a third-person action game. I mean, you get to play a god. We have 60-plus gods, each with awesome powers to choose from. It was important to us that Smite be very comfortable for players unfamiliar with MOBAs to just jump into. When people think of MOBAs, they most commonly think of our Conquest mode, which you see in most MOBA esports. If Conquest isn't your thing, we have a variety of modes. You can play solo, co-op, or online with your friends. First up, we have Arena that is played 5v5, and it's our version of Deathmatch. Your goal is to defeat enemy gods and their minions to reduce their team ticket count to zero. Arena is by far our most popular game mode, and is a great way for players to get their start in Smite. And if you're nervous about jumping into the action, don't worry, you can play this locally or co-op with your friends against bots. Joust is also a great place for players just jumping into MOBA since it teaches you about lanes and plays a bit more like a standard MOBA. There is one primary lane in the middle and two side lanes which contain jungle buffs, which can give you the edge over the enemy team. Siege is our newest game mode, which is a 4v4 Mayan map with two lanes that is separated by a jungle. At the very center of the map is the Siege Monster, which you can use against the opposing team. But it's a really cool way to test your skills and strategy against others. Conquest is one of our coolest and most recognizable modes. Your goal is to make it to the enemy's base, all while taking down their defenses across a three-lane map with a jungle in between. This is our classic MOBA mode and what our esports scene plays on. It requires a lot of strategy and is one of the more rewarding modes. Finally, we have 5v5 Assault where players battle on one lane lined with two towers, a phoenix, and a titan on both sides of the map. It's a fast-paced game mode featuring randomized god selection, so it'll keep players on their toes. We also have Match of the Day, which adds a little spin to the current modes that we have that you and your friends can play. We're definitely looking forward to bringing Smite to a brand new audience. We also want our existing players to try out our console experience, so we're going to have a way for PC players to transfer over their progress and purchases. We'll have more details closer to the launch, but we're really excited about having our current fans try out the console experience. So the team's been working hard to harness the power of the Xbox One to deliver a game that looks just as good as the PC version on the highest level settings. And best of all, it's actually free. So players of the Xbox One can get a game that's AAA production values and free to play.